the euro be saved? After an all-night session of crisis talks in Brussels, European leaders came up with a plan to tackle the growing debt crisis, but it split the European Union. According to the president, 26 were open to a new treaty with strict budget oversight. Prime Minister David Cameron, however, said Britain won't be joining. We will not be presenting this new treaty when it's agreed to our parliament. It will not involve Britain. The French president said Cameron wanted too much for his participation. David Cameron a demandé ce que nous avons considéré. David Cameron asked for what we all considered unacceptable, a protocol within the treaty, allowing the United Kingdom to opt out of a certain amount of regulation regarding financial services. D'un certain nombre de réglementations sur les services financiers. This we could not accept. As she arrived for a second day of negotiations, German Chancellor Angela Merkel was focused on the positive, what was and will be achieved by agreeing a new treaty. At the stock exchange in Frankfurt, global strategist Chris Wehrmann also was thinking of the benefits of tighter integration. We get uh, the, the possibility to make decisions for the euro countries, which means the 17 countries, uh, without any influence from other countries who don't belong in this uh, area. Markets were calm. Frankfurt, Paris and London opened flat and remained fairly stable during morning trading, trending higher as the day went on despite agency Moody's downgrading the ratings of three leading French banks. The euro itself was mixed against other major currencies. Back in Brussels, even as the EU was facing a shift at its heart, its formal expansion was continuing. Croatia took a major step toward becoming the bloc's 28th member, with the signing of its accession treaty ahead of ratification of its entry. Hurdles do lie ahead for the overall union, though. Cameron has threatened to complicate enforcement measures in the new pact, even if those pushing it see its strict financial governance as essential. Twenty years to the day after the treaty that led to the creation of the common currency was drafted, the landscape was shifting for European leaders inside and outside the Eurozone. Karen Sloan, The Associated Press.